Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 4 and in this video we're going to start making the homepage HTML. Wow. Alright then gang, so we left off here in the last tutorial. We did all the header section and we did the footer section down below and we popped these comments in the middle which is telling us where we're going to put the main content for the homepage. So that's what we're going to do in this lesson. And the first thing I want to do is create this banner right here. Now, to do that, I'm going to create a div tag with an ID of main hyphen banner. And the reason I'm giving this an ID and not a class is because there's only one of these on the page. Typically, when there's only one of something on a page, you can give it an ID. And when there's multiple of something on a page, you would give it a class. Okay? So we're given that an ID of main banner. And within that, we need that image which is stored in the images folder and then forward slash banner that's it right there we'll give this an alt attribute of I don't know welcome to a resto something like that and then underneath that in fact that's done that's it that's the main banner done then we need to do this section right here this menu section and I am going to use a section tag for that now that there my friends is a HTML5 tag and basically we'd use this whenever there is a distinct section on a web page now I call this a distinct section because it's just all about the menu and nothing else all right so we'll give that a section tag and we'll give an ID of menu in fact we'll give it an ID of home hyphen menu all right now like nav tags the section tags expect a header so we'll do a h2 and call this menu now this h2 right here is going to represent this thing here and yep this is an image but we're going to do exactly the same thing with this h2 right here as we did or we will do for this logo h1 and so we're just going to hide the text in the css and we're going to replace it with a background image which is going to be this but this my friends is useful for screen readers okay who don't see images so let's move on to this menu then what we need to do is create a ul tag now some people would look at this and say okay well i need two ul tags one there and one there but to me it's all one list because it's all the same thing essentially isn't it you've got one two three four five six seven eight things they're all in the same menu if these were two different parts of the menu then perhaps i'd do two separate uls but because they're all kind of one thing i'm going to do one ul and i'm just going to float these elements to the left so they stack left to right like that okay so one ul and then within that we've got the li tags and the first thing we need to do is a span tag with a class of dish and this is going to be the dish name right there. So I'll pop that in, which is volu or voluptate psyllium or psyllum fugiat. I can't pronounce that. Fugiat. Apologies for my Latin, guys. That sounds beautiful anyway, whatever it is. Um, all right, so the next thing we need is a span with a class of price and that's going to be this thing right here and we're going to float that to the left so let's give that $30 for now uh, the next thing is going to be this little description right here so we'll do another span and we'll give this a class of description all right and let's copy that text cheese tomato mushrooms and onions you know what that does sound pretty good actually all right so that is one whole ally tag now i'm not going to do that for every single one because like i've already established guys i'm pretty lazy so i'm just going to paste this down here four times and another four two three four now we've got eight in total okay so we've got our menu items right there i'm not going to do this load more button because to be quite honest my restaurant is pretty small. I've only got one cook and he's not very good. So the most you can do is eight dishes. All right, so we'll leave it at that for this section. All right, the next section we want to do is this featured dishes section. And again, I'm going to use a section tag for it because it kind of stands alone, right? So let's give that an ID of featured. 
Right, and these things right here are going to link to blog posts, and each blog post is going to be essentially just a dish, tell you a little bit about that dish, or maybe a recipe or something or other, right, which corresponds to these thumbnails. So we're going to hook all up, uh, hook all this up later when we do the blog and the WordPress side of things. But for now, I'm just going to make an unordered list, just a UL tag, and then each one is going to be an li, and then within that li, we need an image with a source. We're not going to put that source attribute in just yet because we're going to control this dynamically later through WordPress. So there's no point in us putting it in just yet. Um, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll just put one in. Um, images and then thumb one, right? And we'll just use the same one for each li tag for now. Right, so the second thing we need to do is a link h, uh, h sorry, a href equals, we don't need to put the link in just yet, and then the name of that dish, nuller sint, all right, then we need the price, so we'll create a span and put the price in, $30, and then finally we need a rating, so we'll give this a class of rating, and then this is where our star rating is going to go. I don't need to put anything in yet because, again, this is going to be controlled all dynamically via WordPress later on. All right, so what I'll do is just copy and paste that now. So we've got four in total. All right, so there we go. That's it, guys. We've done the homepage content as well, or at least the, uh, the HTML. So what we're going to do now is dive into the CSS and we're gonna give everything we've done here some style so it's starting to look like this in a browser because to be honest, if I do this right now, I've just clicked this little link icon right here which opens up a browser and it's gonna show me what we've done. Yep, this looks absolutely amazing. Um, so what we're gonna do is style all this up in the next tutorial. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to catch all the updates and I'll see you guys in the next one.